Might I be able to entice you with the story of a town filled with bootleggers and gamblers and miners and prostitutes, a town that was once called the wickedest city in the West? If so, then welcome to Jerome, Arizona. Jerome is a historic copper mining town that was founded in 1876. The mine once produced 3 million pounds of copper a month, and it's now recognized as the largest ghost town in America. All right, let's start right here at the famous Jerome Sliding Jail. First of all, it's right next to the parking lot, so it couldn't be more convenient. But this jail that you see behind me used to be located up on the hill, right on Main Street in the middle of town. Rumor has it, it slid eventually 225 feet down to this current location. Obviously a lot of structural damage was done and it couldn't be used anymore. So a new jail was built up near the police station, but I want you to get a closer look at the sliding jail. really speaks to the construction. Look at those bars, still intact. And I wanted to show you this. If you look through that crack in the wall here, let me zoom in. There's a cot exactly where it was. This is where the prisoners would sleep. Somehow remained assembled. And here is the rear view of the jail. You can see how far down the hill it has slid. The Great Depression pretty much caused all the copper mines to shut down, but the Historical Society has a lot of artifacts and information that you'll find interesting here. But make no mistake about it, Jerome is thriving. It's a major tourist destination with lots of shopping, beautiful jewelry, turquoise in particular, t-shirts and coffee mugs and cowboy hats and magnets and whatever this is my wife found. You'll find no shortage of great restaurants. We love Haunted Hamburger. Yeah, you gotta grab a shirt and have a cold beer while you sit outside and take in this view. We love it. And just around the corner is where the fancy Bartlett Hotel once stood. It was built in, yes, that's an outhouse, built in 1895, and the landslides of the 1930s pretty much demolished it. This is all that's left, taking it back to the Wild West. This is probably the most intriguing part of Jerome and our visit here. Behind me is the Jerome Grand Hotel. It opened in 1927, hundreds of rooms, 30,000 square feet. The psych ward was on the very top of the building. It's now a restaurant called, appropriately enough, Asylum. The hospital closed in 1950, and this is where it gets a little creepy. In the 80s, the caretaker of the building, which was sitting empty, committed suicide. Soon after, it was opened as this hotel. I want to take you inside. A lot of stories to tell if these walls could talk. Locals say a more haunted establishment you'll never find. And if sleeping among the spirits tickles your fancy, well, rooms here average about $225 a night. You see, friend, ghosts are big business here in Jerome. This town was once a hotbed of debauchery with 21 bars, 13 hotels, and eight brothels like this one. This was called Cribs. But I don't really buy into ghosts. What I do buy into, however, are tattoos. Man, I love them. So I went to the Jerome Tattoo Company to see my buddy Brandon and get a little piece slapped on my belly. While my bride made a new friend. Man, she loves those snakes. You remember this from earlier, right? Oh, and speaking of shopping, on the way out, we were curious as to who might pick up a handful of these to take home as a souvenir. Uh-huh. By the way, I did get to meet that gorgeous reptile, but he and I didn't hit it off quite as smoothly. Another jam-packed day. Tattoos, ghosts, brothels, burgers, ghosts, snakes, and a new cowboy hat. That's what life's all about. Thank you very much for joining us on this edition of The Tattoo Traveler. I hope you will like this video. I hope you will subscribe to this video and 
Don't forget to support us on Patreon. Tell us where you want us to go. I'm Todd Newton, the Tattoo Traveler. Travel safely, friend.